Hey Splat Gang and welcome to another video, I'm Ben and today we're going to be talking about the potential release for Splatoon 3 which is something that many of us are really desperate to know about. Recently there's been some very interesting developments which could push us even closer towards finally getting to learn the release date of Splatoon 3 this summer, so let's take a look. So the most interesting development that I've seen in the past week or so is that pre-orders are now live in some physical places for Splatoon 3 which is incredibly interesting and something that I feel like you don't see too often when you don't even know the release date of a game yet. That does make a lot of sense since they have confirmed that it is coming out in the summertime, so it's not completely vague like Breath of the Wild 2 is. However, we still don't have a concrete release on when we can expect this game to come out, and there's still honestly so much that we don't know about it. These physical pre-orders, however, are really interesting to me, and it does make you think that they could be perhaps preparing for a bigger launch of information about the game in the coming weeks or so. Personally, I think we're going to learn the release date fairly soon. I don't think they're going to wait until E3 to tell us when it's coming out. That seems like such a long time away, and I feel like they'll reserve it for games that maybe we don't know about, or games that we have even less information about yet have already been confirmed. We do know a decent amount about Splatoon 3, of course there's still more that we do want to learn, but it does feel like the game is ready to finally get a release date, and I think a lot of us were very surprised when they didn't give us one during the little trailer we got for Salmon Run during the latest Nintendo Direct. Now that we're actually starting to see pre-orders though for the very first time in Splatoon 3 history, it is really exciting and it definitely makes me feel like we're getting even closer. Now, we still haven't seen a Nintendo pre-order for it yet, there's nothing digital or anything like that, so you may want to wait before you actually make a pre-order. It seems like it's only available in the US and UK now as well, so not everyone will be able to get it, but it's always a good idea to wait before you pre-order games like this because you never know exactly what bonuses will happen before the game launches. Still, I'm going to link the pre-orders down in the description so that if you do want to pre-order Splatoon 3 for the first time, you can go ahead and do so. I will just give a little disclaimer that it might be worth waiting to see what Nintendo does for their pre-order or just waiting for other companies in general as there could be some really cool bonuses to get your hands on. Sadly, like I mentioned from Nintendo's side of things, they've not said anything about pre-orders for Splatoon 3 yet, so we really don't know when they're going to do these. Summer 2022 is fast approaching though, so we must be getting closer to more information about the game, hopefully the box art, and finally that release date that we all want to know about. But leave your comments down below, when do you think we're going to see Splatoon 3 launch for the Nintendo Switch, and are you looking forward to more information about the game? For more updates on Splatoon 3, make sure to subscribe and turn on those channel notifications, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next video.